there's no place in heaven for you. And if there is, I don't want to be there. NANI? Dynamite! Dynamite! I, I, I want to talk about this since we just spent a little bit of time trying to win the Mega Million. Um, so it turns out this is Brooklyn pastor that says he and his wife were robbed of more than a million dollars in jewelry for while preaching. Clap it up. God is good, right? God is good. God is good. I, I love to see it. I love to see it. I love to see it for two reasons. I appreciate all the comments and, and the feedback. I appreciate that. Uh, look, for all y'all don't know, I'm not really high on the religious Richter scale. You feel me? I think if you don't know this about me, I think all religion is just divided to keep people divided. It's by design because there's no way in hell there's a dude called Abraham and there's a dude called Ibrahim and their symbolization of their names are just the changing of I's and A's and they literally both sacrificed Almost had to sacrifice their kid because God was feeling kind of God was feeling like playing truth or dare with the motherfucker. Ain't no way in hell those stories that ain't no way we got a Muhammad and a Moses and they both found commandments and we just out here just like, hmm, <laughs> I wonder what's the like, come on, guys, like as adults, just as adults in the fucking room. Um, but to this to this story, there's a there's so many questions I have here and I could talk about the moral the moral aspect of this, right? It's easy to point out the moral things. Like, why does a pastor have a million dollars? I don't know what borough of New York this person is in, but he's a he's a black pastor and, and looking at some of the paraphernalia in the back. Paraphernalia, is that automatically designed to be bad? I don't want to be sexist here. It's in Brooklyn. Okay, so okay, we got we got Kenny on the streets. You feel me? Kenny's on the streets. You feel me? He got the he got the eyes on the eyes on the track. The thing that the thing that blew my mind about this is you you have you have a lot of faith in people, and this is why I think like sometimes religion is actually a sickness, is a mental disorder because you really feel like you are protected. For, from from any bouts of evil. Like you feel because you use God as your affront that you cannot be touched. Well, you got touched. Clap it. I, oh, you know what I wish I had right now? I wish I had like a praise key. Like a like a hallelujah. <laughs> I wish I had that key. I, oh, man. The planning I need to do to make this, this stream and this channel better. It's, it's not there yet. But I feel like um, there's so many things. And... That was my second point. Kenny's making a great point. This has insurance fraud written all over it. Because I guarantee you uh, some of the contributions they've received and some of the things they was trying to write off on taxes, uh, New York's a blue state. They're not going to let all that shit ride. And uh, they need to come up with some money quick. Uh, what's the, the pastor down in Houston when they was doing his joint and they found all that money in the wall? Yo, uh, it's a motherfucker out here for these these churches, but this is the this is the life they live, right? And then just the third thing that I want to kind of preach on, people for the people who like my father, he's a devout Muslim, so like if there's anything that he doesn't agree with in life, he'll try and correlate it to that God forsaken Quran, right? Joel Osteen, thank you. He'll try and put it in. Oh, this is what ha this is what God said we had to do. Show me that shit. Show me that shit right now. Oh, you can't be expecting me to look in the Quran. You can hit control left. I have copied and pasted the whole entire Quran. Hit control left. Let's look it up. Let's look it up together, Father. <laughs> like, I don't let them, I don't let none of that slide. And it's because sometimes it, their obsession with trying to please God becomes a disease. That that it's just not feasible is not plausible and i don't ever want to deny people their religion you can have it but once it starts to affect your your livelihood there's a problem there's no reason in hell your pastor should have a million dollars in brooklyn i know some people who live in brooklyn we got kenny i know some people that live in brooklyn 
who are making ends meet. As a leader of the community, if you are t- if you are living that high above your constituents, there's no place in heaven for you. And if there is, I don't want to be there. If people like him get to go to heaven, I, then I then what's the point? What's the point? These these there are people out here giving away ten percent of their of their earnings every week, or whatever it is, three percent, whatever it is. To someone just just for this person to be out here flaunting and flaunting to the extent that someone's like uh is he live right now yeah and you say there's no security at the okay okay there's no security at at where he's at let's go let's go check up on him real quick this could have gone down real bad but you know luckily he just got robbed and he didn't get killed uh and you know, moreover, just we have to do better. We have to do better as a society and stop letting people like this uh, take advantage of us. Hey, 